The way that health works in Smash 4 is very different from other fighting games. Games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat have health bars to drain as you take damage. However, Smash has a percent bar that goes up and increases the knockback you take, eventually resulting in getting you to the point where you get launched off the stage and die. Because of this, you can't just poke at your opponent until they lose all of their health. Smash Bros. requires you to land one golden hit to kill the opponent, which is a lot harder than it sounds. In the top levels of the game, almost every stock is taken as the result of a read. Additionally, some characters such as Sheik have more difficulty at killing than characters like Bowser or DK, simply because they don't have very good tools for adding stocks. Unfortunately, Pac-Man is one of those characters in the same boat as Sheik. He has a plethora of janky kill stats, but has very few safe kill moves and confirms. Today I'm going to talk about how to close out stocks more efficiently with Pac-Man, as well as how concepts such as conditioning and reads play into this aspect of the game. Now realistically, Pac-Man only starts consistently killing at around 110%. However, I'd argue that the entire game before this point is even more crucial to being able to close out the stock at a decent percentage. When you're racking up damage, make sure you pay attention to your opponent's habits and tendencies so that you can store this information and use it later. Watch if they resort to aggressive or defensive options when you approach, how they deal with hydrate, how they respond to fruit, what options they prefer when being pressured by forward airs, etc. Yeah. Any information that you can gather about your opponent is helpful. This is called downloading and will help with making reads to close out stocks to higher percentages. Another important thing to keep in mind is conditioning, which is essentially throwing out subtle cues at your opponent to make them prefer an option, and then punishing that option. I have a video with 15 of these that I'll link right now, but there's another vine setup that will help me with my explanation here. In this clip, I place down a hydrant and then run off and go for a grab. From there, I do a down throw and then I'm able to true combo into an F smash. This works because when you place your hydrant, your opponent expects an offensive option and will likely shield. And if you think your opponent will choose a different option, like a spot dodge or a jump, you can condition them to shield by doing a runoff, nair, fair, or up air. Things like these can help you get early kills and put you in advantage for the next stock. These Japanese vine steps exist pretty much purely for getting earlier kills than Pac would normally get, so it's important to try to have a few tricks up your sleeve for this reason. Of course, you shouldn't exclusively be going for these setups since a lot of them are very situational, but throwing one in once or twice wouldn't hurt. So what are Pac-Man's kill options? Well, his most reliable and the obvious ones are his fruit. At low percents, you can pretty much use any fruit that fits a given situation. However, once you get past about 90%, you have to start thinking about what fruits you need to get kills. Bell and Key will get you kills the earliest, however, once you get further into kill percent, you can start looking for other options such as cherry, apple, and melon. Key is essentially a weaker charge shot, however, you shouldn't be using them in the same way. This is because Key takes a while to charge and doesn't have the largest hitbox, which means throwing it out randomly isn't a very viable strategy. You should instead be using it with some sort of setup, like hitting Hydrant with it at close range or comboing into it with a forward air. And yes, Pac-Man has kill confirms. Fair to Key has a small percent window when the combo is true. However, it's a very potent setup since Fair is a frame 5 safe on shield hit confirm, similarly to Sheik's Fair. I'll have specific percent ranges in the description which were found by the Pac-Man Discord, but when this combo isn't true, it sets up for a tech chase situation. And as I've mentioned earlier, if you gather information on how your opponent reacts to tech chases from an F tilt, down tilt, or a down throw, you can read how well tech here. And on top of this, since you're likely past 100% and you're going for this, Fair has a chance to launch the opponent into an untackable spin animation, which gives you a free kill if you can react fast enough. As far as the other fruit go, Cherry is very good at gimping the opponent due to its low knockback and drop zone bait angle. On top of this, it has some interesting D-drop and jump cancel setups. It's not the most reliable, but it's important to keep in mind that Cherry is always an option. Apple is one of Pac-Man's best fruits for killing, especially when you have a bit of rage, since it only kills a little bit after key. It also requires significantly less charge being generated on frame 54. Melon kills at about 140% or so, but it's helpful since it forces shields which can be punished by a grab or more specifically a back throw. Bell stuns the opponent which can get you some early kills since it can lead into a smash attack. However, keeping it in your hand gives you a fantastic out of shield option at higher percents. You can also catch it and then throw it downwards to set a bit of a trap on the ground due to Bell's long lasting hitbox. Keep in mind that fruits can clank with disjointed attacks so if you're facing a sword fighter, be more careful when you go for these and don't use them liberally. Aside from fruit, unfortunately none of Pac's tilts kill until about 150 or so. All of his smash attacks have some killing potential, but are pretty slow and kind of laggy. However, up smash is the best since it kills at any point on the stage and is the fastest. Down smash, while lacking in kill power, does make up for it with his large disjointed lingering hitboxes, which are great for catching rolls. Aside from Bell, there aren't really any setups into smashes except for double jab, which is not guaranteed but still a pretty good setup. Back throw also kills the ledge pretty early, however it's somewhat risky to go for since Pax grab is so awful. 
Pivot grabs are really the only good way to go for this since they're less predictable than just standing in place and pressing the Z button. As far as aerials go, back air and neutral air are the only ones that can really kill. Neutral air is actually a pretty potent killing option off stage due to its great hitbox and speed. It's also a good off shield option at these percentages since it will launch the opponent off stage very far. Back air is very safe on shield and can't be punished with a shield grab or dash grab. On top of this, the move auto cancels on frame 36, which is just before the end of Pac-Man's short hop animation. It also ends with just enough time to use an up air before landing, making it an amazing boxing and killing tool at high percents. As mentioned earlier, fair can combo into some of Pac's projectiles and is very safe, but it won't kill on its own and doesn't really combo into any aerials at high percents. A lot of the time, killing with a certain move is a bit of a match of specific things, since different characters have different qualities that can be exploited. Against characters that like to short hop a lot, like Zero Suit and Fox, having a bell in your hand can be quite helpful since it punishes that option. Apple is quite useful against light characters since it will kill it earlier against someone that doesn't take long to charge. You may be wondering why I haven't mentioned Hydrant yet, and this is because using it as a killing option is very matchup dependent, apart from ledge trapping which I will go over later. Using Hydrant as a launcher tool varies in effectiveness from character to character. Against characters who struggle to launch Hydrant like Sheik and Diddy, launching the Hydrant is a good idea since they won't be prioritizing hitting it. However, do not use it for kills against characters who can easily launch it like Mario and Ganondorf, or characters who you need to use it to block their projectiles like Robin and Lucas. You only ever want to go for setups when your opponent is far away from you since it gives them significantly less of a chance to hit Hydrant when it has low HP and hit you in the process. Lastly, if you find that your opponent is not respecting Hydrant as a landing option, and you have a high kill power fruit like Apple or Key Charge, you can combo it out of a Hydrant drop for an early and flashy kill. Now let's talk about edge guarding and ledge trapping. Edge guarding wise, use fruit accordingly to what type of recovery your opponent has. If they drop zone a lot, go for apples and cherries, or drop Hydrant on them. If they have a horizontal recovery like Luigi or Fox, throw orange parallel to them to intercept it. This works especially well against Fox due to his fall speed and you can potentially get kills if he's close enough to the blast zone. Nair and Bear are good for launching your opponent away too, and you'll generally launch your opponent out of recovery range if they have already used their jump. Ledge trapping wise, you want to put a slow lingering projectile like Melon Bell or Hydrant if you launch it with a jab around the ledge to bait a roll, which you can punish with a smash attack. I'll link a video with more ledge traps, but here are some of my favorite ones here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a lot from it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll try to get as many of them as I can. As always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for some more competitive Smash 4 videos. I'm going to start releasing videos focusing on other characters other than Pac-Man occasionally, but it will mainly be focused on Pac stuff. And with that out of the way, I'll see you guys next time.